Hello friends, I'm Dr. Chetan Bola and you're watching Bola Moto. Have you ever thought how the safety system of a vehicle works? Because uh, there are a lot of sensors that are included in, in the safety system of the vehicle. So we will be discussing about those sensors which are responsible for the whole safety system that is equipped in a vehicle. So please keep watching this video till the end. You are going to learn a lot of new things in this video. I'm sure about that. We will be discussing about the 11 most important safety sensors of the vehicle. I have enlisted the 11 safety sensors of the vehicle. So first of all, we will be discussing about the night vision. There are two types of the night vision system. One is active and another is passive. The active night vision works on the infrared sensors. The infrared sensor sends the infrared rays to the road and then it just it just plot the road on the screen and uh, where the light can't go the infrared sensor infrared rays can go there and they can just detect whether there is a road or not and from their detection they are, it just plots the road so it is quite feasible for that if you are not able to see the road by the lights the infrared sensor will let you know about that the passive type of the night vision is uh, that which uh, uses the thermal camera thermal camera it it senses the thermal radiation coming up out of different different object on the road and from those object it just plot wherever there is object or there is not an object and in that way you will be able to you will be able to locate wherever there is object and you, you will be just uh, you will be just like able to see them on the screen so that's why it just works as like that Another sensor that is the adaptive cruise control. Most of us know about the cruise control that is if you fix the speed about 660 km per hour then the car will uh, automatically, uh, automatically moving at the 60 km per hour. But the adaptive makes a quite different cruise control system. So there can be a case when uh, the when you are on the cruise control, but somehow you just uh, you just stop focusing on the road. Then you just you are just involved in your activities. Then your car may collide with the car that is going in front of your car. If that car breaks uh, or uh, applied some brake or it slows down or retard, then your car may get collide with that car. Now in that case, if you have the adaptive cruise control, it will maintain a specific distance between your vehicle and that vehicle. So you are not, you are never going to collide with that vehicle. So that's why there is a specific distance that is all, always maintained between the two vehicles. So that's why your car is always safe in the adaptive cruise control system. Another thing is the rollover protection. Rollover protection sensor. What it does is whenever it senses that there is there is there is about the potential of that the car is going to roll over, then it just uh, sends the signal to the ECU. Then the ECU applied the brake in such a way that it nullifies the force that is going to, that is making the vehicle to roll over. So the 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 component of both of the brakes are applied such that. It, it nullifies the, the force, the impact of those forces that are causing the rollover. And another thing that it does is it, it, it stops the throttle so that the, the engine can start idling and the vehicle can start retarding. So in that way, in that way you are quite easily able to control your vehicle. Another, another sensor is the tire pressure sensor. So whenever there is a pressure difference in the vehicle, the, the, the stability of the vehicle uh, is, is uh, disturbed. So in that way, if, the, if a particular tire is having a much higher pressure, then there are also chances of the bursting of the tire. So that's why tire pressure monitor sensor is also required there. Uh, so, so that it can just uh, tell you whenever there is a dangerous situation between the tire of the, the, between the pressure of the tire. So that's why if there is a difference between the tire of uh, pressure of the tire or it it goes uh, lower than the certain level then it is also required to to be inflated another another sense is the rear camera whenever you are um, going in the backward direction or in the reverse gear then you need to see on the back side of your vehicle so that's why at that time the rear camera is required so that it can uh, at, it can just detect uh, in the blind spots also so the rear camera can just show you the area in the blind spots also so that's why you are able to see whatever there is in the rear of your car so that's why it is very much in important another sensor which is really 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 important to the vehicle is the blind spot detection there are always several points that in the human body you can't see your backside so that's why this is the blind spot of your body in the same way there are several blind spots of the car like there are three pillars of the car a b c so in the a in the a pillar you can't see through the pillar 
and the, in the similar way you can't see the C, beyond the C pillar also so that's why there are several areas in the vision of the car that you can't never you can you can never see uh, by the side view mirrors also or by the rear view mirror also so that's why there are several sensors which are required to detect whether there is a car beyond the, the those blind spots so so that whenever you are just changing your lane or whenever you are uh, going to overtake uh, some other car so that's why it is required so that it can just detect whether there is a car or not and whenever it detects it just tell you that it, uh, you please don't change the lane so that you can just get notified about that there is some car in the blind spot that you can't see another sensor is the collision sensor collision sensor is very much important because collision sensor what it does it just sense whether there is collision happened with the car or not whenever there is a collision between the car it just it, it just get it just sends the signal to the ECU and then ECU sends the signal to the air bra airbags so that airbags can inflate and all the other options get activated. And another thing is the lane departure sensor. It is quite similar to that of the blind spot detection, but there are several different other features with this lane departure also. That whenever you change the lane, it just sends whether there is any any vehicle beyond in the in the blind spots. So that whenever you are changing a lane, it can just tell you that is it safe for changing a lane or not on the other hand uh, when you are just uh, out of focus of your driving and you are involved in your activities then if somehow your vehicle is your vehicle is changing the lane uh, maybe the road has turned or maybe your vehicle uh, your steering has turned about a certain angle then then you might be changing the lane if you are not focused on the road then it just it just give up alarm sound for you so that you can just get alert whenever the, your vehicle is changing the lane by its own on the other hand the another sensor is the emergency brake assist it is a quite innovative thing i think in this in the whole list that is whenever you press press the pedal in the panic so this signifies that you are you are in a hurry to apply the brakes so it is quite different from the braking that you normally do because in the case of emergency you just press the brake to the fullest so that you can stop the vehicle as soon as possible so in that case whenever you press the pedal in the panic then it senses that press, pedal is pressed somewhat uh, somewhat in emergency so then it then the system what it does is it sends the more pressurized brake fluid to the calipers so that it can apply more brake force on the disc so what it does is it uh, when the more brake force is applied on the disc then the vehicle is stopped very early so in that case the stopping distance has decreased and stopping time has also decreased in this in this way the 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 accident can be ignored by by stopping the vehicle before any of the accident could happen so it is quite innovative thing that i think another, another thing is adaptive headlight in the most of the time when you are using a high beam in uh, whenever it is uh, on the high beam uh, the the person in front of the high beam most of the time it got blind for some time so it is not able to see what is uh, what is beyond this that high be high beam so that's why adaptive headlight is introduced what it does is it, if you are here uh, it senses that someone is here so it just low the beam on your area and on all the other areas the beam, beam is already high so wherever it just detect there is someone it just uh, lower the beam in that region so what it does is there are so many of the leds and there are so many of the sensors where, where they sense the different different region and whenever it it sense the re, this region is uh, uh, required with the low beam so it just turn the leds of that region downwards so that way the low beam is in this direction so in this way this adaptive headlight works on the other hand emergency response it is quite a important thing in a vehicle because most of the time when the accident happened to a vehicle the people that th those who got injured they get uh, trapped inside the vehicle because of the locked doors do, uh, then they have to broke the windshield and then they come out so in that case uh, this emergency response what it does is it just is it's unlock all the doors it turn on the uh, inter internal lights interior lights and the other thing it just switch off the fuel so that the fuel is not uh, is not supplied to the engine anymore and uh, the chance of the fire catching will decrease and it also disconnect the battery from the alternator so that there is there is no probability of 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 having a short circuit so as to ignore the fire 
so these are the most important 11 sensors of the safety so i th i think you have to you have got to learn a really new and important things so thanks for guys for watching if you like this video please share this video to your friends if you didn't subscribe my channel or you are new to the channel please subscribe it right now because i keep on making this kind of stuff if you like to watch more english video you can just click on that i icon so that you can get the whole playlist of the english videos Thanks for guys for watching, keep watching, keep sharing and keep supporting guys. Thanks a lot.